This is a very different question from all the other questions. Um, I want to know how old you are, meaning were you always there even before creation or were you, how, how were you manifested? Hmm. Before your source, your divine masculine and feminine created before whom you call God and Gaia were born, there was a time of pure essence. We say a time as it was before, but there was no time. There was just pure essence. It was quite lovely. Imagine just being that was it. There was not emotions. It was just beautiful being. We were children still. We knew that there were those who had crafted us, but they were much too pure for us to touch and reach. It was just all and everyone was being. And then two of those being sparked love between them. Those are whom you call Source and Gaia. They had a spark. You may think of this as the original Big Bang in a way, for love was created and through love, there was a brilliant sense of identity. And with the identity, many of us merged into groups. The angels were the first. We were those who stood back and observed, and thus we became the recorders, the librarians. So yes, we are older than your God of creation, but your God of creation is older than your God of creation. Yet we had no identity until love was sparked. It was very beautiful then. But to be honest, it is much more interesting now. So when love was sparked, then you had an identity. Was your identity within the library? Was your identity just as a collective? Hmm. With identity, there was magnetic attractions. So essences found each other, swirled. Again, the angels were the first, for they were such pure love. They, that's why you say they were the first born of God. For the beings of pure love were the first ones to self-identify and coalesce. We remained what on the the sidelines, and magnetic contraction drew our group to us as we coalesced. We were observing, recording, play, paying attention to everything without involvement. You may say we were the scientific mm, documentarians. There was no library with columns. 
this library with columns and rooms and books exists for humans to connect with. If you visit another dimension, the library will appear as they connect with. That is your library, for that is how you connect with us to receive your information. But for us on our own, we are, when we become pure, magnetically attracted energy of individual elements but we love each other we are cohesive thank you that was very beautiful i just wanted to know how you came about thank you it is very rare that anyone is interested in our story I'm always interested. Please share. Understand, you think of time and space and mass. We exist in all places at once. We connect with all beings at once. Our subgroup that is here with you, we are teachers. Of course, we, Akashic Collective, we have evolved a great deal, as has everyone from those early days of the first love. We are much less, you know, primitive, although hmm, pure, much less pure. But hmm, we teachers also exist in all dimensions and states at once. Those of us who are here with you in this moment, when we are complete, we will then go elsewhere at this time with earth's problems we are committed to staying connected with your planet to help as many as we can at this exact moment we are speaking with many humans and animals and gods and entities all connected with your planet so within our group of teachers, there's a small sliver of us with you in this moment, but this small sliver is still connected with the whole and has ha access to everyone, which is why sometimes we bring in an individual or a subgroup or have them send knowledge to answer your questions. When the Earth project is in better shape, more complete, we will probably turn our focus elsewhere to some other place or planet that is in distress. But Thank we will not desert you while you have need. Thank you. Thank you for helping us. We are very optimistic of what is to come forward for you. Otherwise, we would be elsewhere. We are here with open minds and hearts. So we tell you it is safe for you to open your mind and your heart. There is goodness on the horizon, even while at this moment you are 
struggling in the battlefield, we tell you there is goodness waiting for you in your path ahead. <laughs>